Hello friends, this video on solutions part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the colligative properties. See the colligative first, it came from a Latin word. Came from Latin word. Co means together. And Ligative, it came from ligair actually, ligair. So ligair. Ligair is means bind. That means bind together. I'll show you the definition of this and you'll understand why this word colligative means. See, colligative property are the property that depends on only on the ratio of number of solute particles to solvent particles. It depends only, it's, it's just a number game. It's just a number game number game it doesn't depend on the type of chemical species for example the election in india is election in any country is a number game right who is voting doesn't matter whether it's an engineer doctor or, or any other it doesn't matter right it's all number game the one who gets maximum vote is the winner same thing it's number game it doesn't matter right what is the uh, quality of solvent how it reacts doesn't matter right it doesn't it doesn't care about the chemical composition of the solute or solvent it's just a number game it's just the properties that just depend on the number of solute particles to the solvent particles ratio right it's a number game say for example if you see here we are all showing you the number of particles right why because these colligative properties depends only on the number of solute particles or the solvent particles they don't care about the chemical species they don't care about the chemical properties of solute particles and solvent particles and they are called colligative property because these they bind together and these colligative property differs depending on the binding for example if this is my uh, uh, a and this is my b component this property will depend on the force of attraction between a and b i have shown you some shows positive deviation towards rod law some shows negative right so the pressure increase or decrease for the given solution it's all colligative property because that depends on the number of a and b particles and also the bind force of attraction between them so the word colligative is bind together correct and some of the colligative properties include which we will understand is relative lowering of vapor pressure that is when you, you have a pure solvent you add some solute the vapor pressure of the resulting solution will be decreased that is called relative lowering of vapor pressure Elevation of boiling point, the boiling point also increase for a given solution. You have a pure solvent, it has some boiling point, but if you uh, add some solute, the boiling point increase. Same thing, depression and freezing point, you have some solvent, it has some boiling point, but if you add some uh, solute to it, the freezing point decrease and osmotic pressure. So these are some of the colligative properties which will be studied. So let's start with the first colligative property that is lowering of vapor pressure. So when we talk about the lowering of vapor pressure, it is a known fact that vapor pressure of my uh, solution is always less than the vapor pressure of pure solvent. I'll show you this diagram. This is my pure solvent. If you see. It has six molecules here. The vapor pressure is because of six molecules here. But the moment I add non-volatile solute in this case, if you see the non-volatile solute also is in the surface and they try to bind these solvent molecules. Let's suppose this is my molecules A and this red one is my molecules B, right? So the B molecules will try to uh, bind with A molecules and very few molecules of A will escape out. So the number of A molecules escaping out in this case, this is case 1, this is case 2 and this is the case 2 is much less than the number of A molecules escaping out in case 1. Because in case 1 is pure solvent, as many uh, more number of molecules of A can escape out and there is no one to stop them. But in case of B, when you add some non-volatile solutes, these solutes, the, the red one, the B molecules will attach to this uh, blue molecules and the number of A molecules that will come out will be less. This is I am talking about the ideal case, ideal gases right which behaves raw straw. 
there are scenarios where we have seen where, where it shows positive and negative deviation right there's a different scenario altogether but in case of ideal scenario the number of a molecules that goes to the vapor phase in this case too will be less than the number of molecules of a that goes in the vapor phase in case one similarly even if you add volatile solute what will happen there will be a competition between a and b to come out right some of the a will come to this vapor phase or the b will come to the vapor phase but still if you see there is a tough competition here and a and b will have force of attraction between them and they will not let each of these to go so a will uh, not let b to go to the vapor phase from liquid space and similarly b will not allow a to go to the liquid sorry b to will not allow b to go to the vapor phase from liquid phase so easily thus if you see in net this is my pure case i have six molecules here but in any of these case case two or three that is not the pure one that is the solution phase this is my solution this is also my solution right and this is my pure solvent so in in each of these case these case the number of particles here in the vapor phase is less right so the partial pressure in case one that is the pure solvent is more partial pressure in case two entry is always less than the partial pressure in case one that's why we say the vapor pressure of solution that is in this case is always lower than the vapor pressure of pure solvent so you have a pure solvent the moment you add impurities the vapor pressure goes down right and this is Raoult which has established uh, uh, this relation right that the lowering of vapor pressure depends on only on the concentration of solute particles and it is independent of their identity as i have explained earlier also in one kg of water if you add uh, one mole of please don't i am adding one mole one mole of uh, nacl or you add one mole of uh, potassium iodide or you add let's suppose one mole of urea in all these cases the relative lowering of vapor pressure will be all same please note i am adding one mole if i say i add one gram of nacl one gram of ki one gram of urea that's a wrong statement because i'm talking about the number of particles number of particles is dependent on the moles one mole is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 20 particles the moment you say one gram nacl one gram ki they'll not have same number of particles right because the chemistry runs on particles and that's why we have the concept of mole so if you add one mole of nacl one mole of ki one mole of urea in uh, one one let's suppose uh, 100 gram of water in all these three scenarios the relative lowering of lowering of vapor pressure will all be same correct so we have the raw law if my uh, p1 is nothing but x1 into p1 not this is my original pressure a pure solvent pressure correct and this is a new pressure correct and you see mathematically also this x1 is the mole fraction and the value of x1 is generally between 0 to 9.9 it's always less than 1 correct so if you are multiplying some number with something is less than 1 this has to be low for example if this is 100 and this is let's suppose 0 0.6 this becomes 60 so if you see the new pressure becomes 60 the original pressure is 100 because we the multiplying factor is always less than 1 so mathematically also you can see that the lowering of vapor pressure happens so if you want to find uh, the relationship the mathematical relationship let's do that so as i told p1 is nothing but p1 not into x1 so delta p1 will be what delta p will be what p1 not minus p by p1 p1 is a bigger quantity that is nothing but p1 not minus p is nothing but sorry p1 nothing but p1 not into x1 hope you understand this see delta change in pressure is this is my final pressure and this is my initial this is p1 not let's suppose this is my p1 this is my initial this is my final right change in pressure is what initial pressure minus final pressure initial minus final and p final is nothing but p not into x1 this equation so with this i can say that is nothing but p1 not into 1 minus x1 and if this is a binary solution 1 minus x1 will be nothing but x2 correct so if you see relative lowering of vapor pressure you get this change in pressure is nothing but p1 not into x2 please note it is x2 here 
it is not x1 so i have seen p1 is nothing but new pressure is nothing but old pressure into mole fraction of the same component but relative lowering of pressure in the case of bind solution is nothing but p1 not into x2 so let me rewrite this delta p by p1 not will be nothing but x2 and x2 is nothing but mole fraction of 2 by mole fraction of 2 plus mole fraction of 1 correct so if if it is a very dilute solution i can say that my n2 will be very very low n2 is nothing but my solute right will be very n2 will be very very low which is a for dilute solution so in that case i can write this guy is almost equal to n2 by n for very very dilute solution so i'll say that delta p by p1 not is this one and since i have n2 and n1 i can easily say n2 is nothing but what is n2 moles of n uh, moles of n moles of n2 is nothing but mass of n2 my molar mass of n2 correct that is mass of n2 by molar mass is w similarly sorry and this n1 is nothing but mass of n1 by molar mass you don't need to remember this formula just understand if you know this formula that is P1 is nothing but P1 not into X1. That's all for you. You can derive these formulas on the go when you solve. Also, you see these formulas are given in the books. So I am just going through it, but these are not required actually. Even without these formulas, you can do it. Right? So I'll show you how to do it without these formulas. If you just remember this formula. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.